This tutorial is a free preview lesson from our 101 Photoshop for Beginners course. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RitaPro.com. The following tutorial is a free preview from our 101 Photoshop for Beginners course. And if you're a beginner and want to learn more about Photoshop, I suggest you check out our 101 Photoshop for Beginners course on the website. Click on this video here to see the course trailer or take this coupon code to get a reduced $10 entry today. But for now that's it, let's head right away into the free preview lesson. So right away you will see that down below in my application bar here I have installed Photoshop CS6 I've been working quite a while on that and then also Photoshop CC 15 plus the new updates to 2016 so yeah once I've installed everything you should also be able to see this down here the same goes for Windows you will see it on your desktop and application select CC or whatever version you have now and open I'm gonna work on CC but it will be pretty much the same Okay, so Photoshop is opening and right away we are lost. We don't know where we are and what's happening. So don't get confused. We're gonna go step by step through everything now. So first of all, this interface here is new and it's only for CC. If you're on a CS6, CS5 version, it might just look like this once you've opened it. Great, so just explaining things also like this might be easier even for the CC people. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about just the different elements that we have in here. How I will do it is that I will first of all just close down everything so we can individually go through everything and show you guys step by step what is what in Photoshop. Okay, I'm not in Photoshop anymore. I'm again on my desktop, but I will select Photoshop now and just have a look at the top menu bar here. That will change. Boom. So now you guys can see it right away in Photoshop, but we don't have anything on our desktop, just the menu bar at the top. So don't be scared, you are right away in Photoshop now, but you're just m missing your whole layout. So let's go step by step through this now. First of all, if I'm gonna go to Window and select Application Frame, you will see that the gray desktop will appear now, like so. Normally it will just be like this, okay? So you only have a gray background. Now you can also hit the plus button, so it's full screen, and you will now be able to work in Photoshop, but you're missing your tools and your workspace on the right hand side and your options bar from the top. But just to show you guys again, application frame is first of all just a whole new canvas here or a complete new desktop where you can work on and you're only in Photoshop. When you hit minimize now, you're back to your desktop. So don't get confused, let's just open this again. If I'm gonna go to Window and deselect Application Frame, I am also in Photoshop right now, but I don't see the background. So some people tend to work like this, like me, I don't like the Application Frame, and some people do love the Application Frame and always keep it like this. Great, all right, so now that we do have this, let's actually start talking just about what we're still missing. Let's go back to Window and select the options over here. Great, so first of all, you'll have here the top menu bar, then second of all, an option bar over here, which goes and has a few different options for tools and also helps you with your workspace selections. Now, let's go back to window once more and select our last option here, which are tools. So great, there we have our tool panel now. So tools you will need to work with on your images in order to obviously enhance it or create something new. You will always need tools in Photoshop. Great, so we have our tool panel over here, but we're still missing the workspace. So what is this all about? Basically, the workspace is made up from a lot of different panels here that you can choose freely from and build your own workspace. More about that now in the next lesson. This time, I just want to show you guys quickly if I'll go to adjustments because I have adjustments in my workspace. It will bring up my complete workflow space here again. Also, if you want to switch quickly, you can go over here and change to a different workspace really quickly. But more about that in the next lesson. Now, the workspace, again, as you guys can see, it's made up of a few different panels. Again, the history, character, these are all different individual panels that are coming here from this list. So whatever is ticked off is part of your workspace. Okay, and if you don't want that anymore, you can just hit the X or again, go back here and call channels out and right away you'll see here are the channels now. Great, so what I'll do now is just drag history back in because I mostly work with history and the character box also over here 
move that back in. Great, so this is our complete workspace. This is our tool space. This is our option space and the menu space. Let's move this all the way to the right hand side. And you guys can now see that a blue line appears. So this means I'm now clipping this workspace permanently against the right side. So now it's part of my workshop or my Photoshop layout. The same for the tools, also dragging over to the left hand side, drop it and right away we have our tools here. And now if I go out of Photoshop, let's say minimize, everything goes in one big bundle. If I call it up again, everything is back in one big bundle. Also window application frame, you'll get it. I work like this mostly. I can quickly now swap between my canvases and my desktop here and quickly get back into Photoshop. Great, like so. But let's now for the tutorial just keep it to application frame so you guys don't get too confused right now. Okay, so back to that. That's the first step just for understanding the layout again. Now, normally when you see someone on Photoshop or you watch a tutorial or something, sometimes you see that the Photoshop color looks different. So I'm meaning the whole layout color, either white or a light gray or even a dark gray. So don't panic. It's not a different Photoshop version. It might be, it might be like CS6 or CC, but it is only actually an adjustment where you can also change it. So simply go to Photoshop CC, preferences, and under preferences in the interface, you will now see here there is a color theme here. So I can now make my color really dark, light gray, even lighter gray, or a white. So again, don't get confused, it's not a different Photoshop version. The user might just only change the color over here. So white I don't really like to work with because it's so bright and working with it at night, it just is hard on your eyes. So what I'll do is always I take this medium gray here, a little bit of a darker gray, and that's a bit easier. And also for me, it's not so light by the side of my canvas, so I can easily Photoshop. So my color of choice is the second one here. I'm gonna hit OK, and right away I'm back in Photoshop. Great, so now you have seen a free preview from our Photoshop beginner course. Again, click right here to join, and also don't forget about the coupon code. So yeah, thanks again guys for watching, I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. Yeah, and you're still here and interested in some more stuff. So first of all, maybe hit us up with a like if you really enjoyed this content. Also subscribe and share. And if you want to download my free Tronics Design Media Package, have a look down below in the description. Leave your feedback as well, let me know what you think about this tutorial, and if you want to see some more Photoshop beginner tutorials, have a look, I've listed some free previews here as well.